It's a cold but sunny fall day here at Huntington, West Virginia, as we're ready for Conference USA football and be in sports. The Marshall Thundering Herd trying to win a second straight game, set to play host to the Charlotte 49ers here from Jones C. Edwards Stadium. Waiting for the kick from one um, Amaretto Curry, the redshirt junior from Tampa, Florida. Military Appreciation Day today here at Huntington. That's why you see those helmets, the stars and stripes. I'd like to honor our service men and women. Once a year here on this Marshall campus. And this will come out to the 25. And the first we'll see of this Charlotte 49er offense. Duke is the motion man on first to 10 to start. And they'll send it up to him. And very little there getting to the line of scrimmage. We were warned we we're going to see him in the backfield a little bit, Matt. Blue going to call his own number and spins his way to the one yard line. Got waffled. Big time pop. Kendall Gant, the one who stuck his nose in there. We knew these safeties, Matt, would be coming downhill quick, especially in this end zone. Not too much space to go ahead and block that, but spinning out and getting in across the line. I think they're going to hurry up and try to get this kickoff, Matt, to see where he landed. Yeah, so late touchdown he, he signal. Might, he might have got. He might not have got in, Matt. The guy that you want on your team. Teammate, great guy. A lot of the guys love him down there. One note for this Marshall offense: Michael Selby is out today at right guard as they get Josh Knight involved to start, coming off of a big week. But when you get over 40 plus, they're not quite as trusted. And this one blocked. Didn't get enough air under it. Not enough lift for Muscarello, and the herd will take over. Yeah, that one looked ugly coming off the foot, Matt. Dozier looked like he was in the mix. Now instead, it's Jason Smith, the redshirt sophomore for Patterson, New Jersey. Litton with the play fake on first to 10. And gets it to Knight for the second time. 22-yard pickup for Josh Knight on his second catch. You can see a lot of double teaming going on right now against Ogan Joby, which should free up Brandon Banks, the other team captain today. That D lineman should have a nice little day as well. Litton to Davis with a burst. First down over midfield for the Fairburn, Georgia native. To the 46-yard line, pair of touchdown runs a week ago. That's a good start for Keon Davis. And they'll try Davis again. And more. Another first down for Keon Davis. Run out of bounds by McDonald. You can see they're going to start doing a lot of this. Big 65 is getting penetration through that offensive line. So what they're going to start doing is putting down blocks. Instead of blocking the man head up and one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to go ahead and try to gap scheme him and block down and come across on him. 16-yard pickup. Favor the more healthy side of that offensive line. Set up Knight. Third time. First down. And still on his feet. First and goal coming for Litton in this offense. What a block right there. Woo. You saw Cook, the linebacker, who's one of their great tacklers on this team, kind of get eaten up right there. Wow. Great block by Nate Devers, backing up right now, doing a great job at that guard spot. Grabbed me quite nicely. Yeah. Davis pushing that pile and right into the end zone. Fifth time this season for Keon Davis. On third and four, Glue intercepted. It's Jackson, diving for that pylon. Out of bounds. Second interception of the season for Jackson. Second one in the last two weeks. Yeah, coming off of the defensive player of the week, Matt. He had a rough part at the beginning of this year. A lot of teams were picking on him. Louisville picked on him nice and strong. And instead of tanking it, the kid came back and kept fighting and clawing. Good red zone, Matt. Yep. Play fake to Davis. Linton to the end zone. And there it is. 
It's Hunt. Second touchdown of the season. What a nice little line of deception. You see Chris jump the route right here to get the interception. Setting up the wonderful touchdown from the four yard line. You see Litton right now going ahead and getting Juracek and Bird, both tight ends running to the right. And then all of a sudden in comes Hunt. That has a lot of talent on it, Matt. Kind of shocked when we kept picking up every week and they were losing. Get the high look at it. Look one way, throw back the other. Yeah, a little boot to the right. All the offensive linemen go left. But they flipped him to running back after that second year. Trying to set up the wide receiver screen and not much there. And that one could have been potentially really, really ugly. Duke the intended target. C.J. Rivas there. Yeah, here you can see Rivas sit down right in between the block and the wide receiver. That could have been ugly. Juco transfer, glue, second and long, gets dropped. Blake Keller all over that. Tight-knit community that loves their football team. Two of four on third down for Clue and company. Make it two of five, hit as he threw. Good pressure for the herd up front. And it's Durant, Devon Durant. The guy they were very high on beginning of the year. I was very high on Duran at the beginning of the year. He was one of the guys that I. Foster stays in. Litton gets his target. Deontay McManus. You got to turn around and act like nothing happened. You look him off, right? On the timing pattern, the turnaround for McManus. And they go right back to him to the 46 yard line. 14 yard pickup on the second straight catch. And we were happy that we started at the normal time. Because otherwise, Brett Romberg might have been a little hairy. Southern Ontario Hall of Fame induction last night. Litton and company continue to go to work on first to 10. And Ryan Juracek gets himself involved for the first time tonight. <laughs> Just distracted somehow. Three yard gain for Knight. Set up the screen, the swing pass to Foster. And into the red zone they go. And Offensive coordinator Bill Leg. And they go to Juracek again inside the red zone. One of the best, certainly in FBS. And they switch it up again with Foster. Picks up the first down and got close to the promised land. Big third and goal coming for the herd. Play fake to Davis. Litton on the rollout, the end zone. Holding on, Hunt for the second time. Yeah, he was rolling out to the right-hand side right here, Matt. You can see him getting tied up all the time in the world. Juracek calling for the football, but clearly he had a guy in the back of the end zone ready to go ahead and catch his football and give him six points. You see Juracek clapping him up, trying to get that ball. You got to love it when wide receivers start fighting over that thing. 49ers signaling. He said Chase has spent extra time watching film and asking questions. He wants to be good, and he is definitely showing that tonight. Matt? Thank you, Jordan. Foster with a big head of steam on the kick return. Shifting his feet and caught. Good way to start for High League Foster. Ends up brought down Anthony Butler, the backup linebacker on special teams. 52-yard return for Foster. That's going to take a lot of win out of that sale, Matt. Just when you thought you could score and get a couple extra points and get that get that margin of point variation going back and forth, and you turn around and you give up a 50-yard return like that. You know somebody's going to look at this Monday and say, if you just would have cut it the other way. And Curry takes care of this one. So they do get points out of that return, but. Play fake, and it breaks down for Clue. Keller ripping him to the ground with Amari Cobb. 
You saw that field side blitz right here, Matt, on the weak side. When I'm saying field side, that means the open side of the field. You can see coming to your left here, they slanted all that defensive front strong and had the weak side linebacker and the middle linebacker go ahead and wrap that blitz around right into the running play. Blake Keller and the talented freshman Cobb. Keller had been at UCF. Ends up being a 46-yard punt here in Huntington. The hometown herd up by a touchdown. Play fake to Duke. Phillips bounces one way and going to be swallowed up. Chris Jackson and a host of others in that pile. Jalen McLean's sap as well. Fired up, ain't he? Be four down and two. Yeah, you see right now they're trying to run a basic power O up the gut. Clearly there's a lot of Marshall defenders right there. The swarm, you call it. A lot of green jerseys. And a pair of catches for an extra 16. Clue. It is he throws and incomplete intended for Kofa. Blue pass incomplete. Matt, I'll tell you right now, the offensive coordinator, Jeff Mullen, they're going to go into that locker room and they're going to see the fact that Chris Jackson has something going on with that right thumb. They might be picking on that coming out of halftime. Taking a shot down the field and incomplete. Marshall will get one more shot at the football. Nice little play right there by Gant. That's Gant's responsibility to go over there and cover up Chris Jackson. Got there just in the right time. Closed in on that football real nice. Dealing with a little bit of a deficient right hand right now. Chris Jackson might have been a couple steps behind the wide receiver. But luckily for him, he's got his safety support over top right there. Now has that freedom. And more of it in year two than he did a year ago. Sets up, hits Clark, first down for the herd. Foster, the lone setback, stays in. Litton on the slant. McManus, third time tonight, first down for the herd. Sal McManus with another touch. Fourth target for him, 17 yard pickup for Deontay McManus. They're getting rid of that ball nice and quick, Matt. They have to at this point in time because and get to the quarterback. Play fake quickly. Juracek from Linton. Fourth time. Litton with the short drop, timing route, and hits McManus. For another herd first down. Fourth catch of the night for McManus. Suddenly a competition for favorite target. Yeah, you see right now, finally, Chase go ahead and look to his right-hand side to go take up McManus up top. They've been leaving him alone all night long on single coverage up top. Maybe they're going to take a little bit more advantage of that. Blue. There's our on buddy, the Mr. Jackson. Track. Yeah, Chris Jackson drives him back to the 11-yard line. I'll tell you what, Chris Jackson's having a good night tonight. I know he's building off of last week's performance and coming through after a rough start so far this season, but a nice little blitz off the back end, corner cat. Clue didn't have his eyes up. Probably not going to be enough to win this football game. Clue can't pick it up. 400 of total offense the last two weeks. Litton evading the rush, second and 10. It finds his target. That's Knight. Nicely picked up, too. You're looking at your basic gut X blicks right up the middle. That's going to be two linebackers crisscrossing through the A gaps. One, the running back picks up. The other, the offensive line picks up. And it gives Chase Lynn a nice time to roll out, hit his wide receiver. Ah, there's Fat Patties about a block away here in Huntington. Out to celebrate its 10 year anniversary in a few months. Home of the. Uh, the double patty burger, it's the big fat patty. Calorie free. Sounds delish. Maybe we'll get you one when the game's over. I think I need one to tell you the truth. Brent Romberg, Matt Martucci here at a tight-knit community in Huntington. And 
has watched its football team struggle this season. And right now, probably a little more nervous with the Charlotte 49ers, the football again. Play fake to Phillips, and Clue is incomplete. Motion man is Mullen. Clue made the read, and gonna have to turn it back the other way. Nothing there, Jackson able to ride him out of bounds. Duke the motion man, play fake to him, set up Phillips, and nobody there. Actually, plenty of people there, Fort Marshall today. And they go to Duke here on first down. It's smelled out by Gary Thompson and others. Stays in the game on third down. They'll call his number, can't get it. There we go, finally I get to call Tyler's name, getting in the backfield, disrupting some stuff. The direct snap to Johnson, spinning his way, second at goal, and nothing there. We remember uh, a guy who contributed to both of these programs heavily, a true son of Marshall, Phil Ratliff, former two-time All-American with the Herd, later coached on this coaching staff under Doc Holliday, and then Brad Lambert hired him to be the offensive line coach. Ended up passing away August 9th, 2015 of a heart arrhythmia on a team coaching retreat, Hickory, North Carolina. Phil Ratliff, survived by his wife Jenny, daughter Haley, son Dylan, and his parents Daryl and Sharon. A memorial service August 22nd, 2015 here in Huntington, where more than 500 people attended. They laughed, they cried, they loved. Chad Pennington said it was what Phil Ratliff would call a full day. The second program he loved right now on top of his former program, the Marshall Thundering Herd. Litton with the play fake, and McManus. They've seen something this entire game with him up to the 41 yard line. He's over 100 yards receiving and 15 catches. Davis with the momentum going forward on the carry. Up around midfield. Heard trying to win a second straight. Clue, the play fake. And they pick it up, but the ball comes loose. Montgomery. Hancock coming up with the football. The question is, was it was a catch first? Matt, I believe he got both of those feet down. That was just a thunderous hit right there. Coming back over the middle. You saw what they did right here, create a little bit of confusion, but back up underneath with that route, and then, oh my goodness, it was Big Gant with that monster hit. He's been laying wood all night long. Does he ever have control? I, I don't know. It looks like the wide receiver was bracing himself for a hit. He had both feet planted on the ground. And you can't even get a targeting shot on that one because he was ready to accept that hit. He had to review, let's see again. One foot down, two feet down, tucked away. Get ready to absorb the hit. Yep, I think that's a fumble. Gant putting his helmet right in there. Wide receiver lowered his helmet down to try to take on that hit. Ooh, hey, that's helmet to helmet. Matt, I would give the helmet to helmet on the wide receiver trying to give it to Gant. Uh, yeah, lowers the head. The wide receiver was yeah, the one that right. lowered his head you're on right. that one. That's, that's not defenseless. Yeah. After review, it was determined that was the incomplete pass. Wow. Now Chase Litton and Co. A big first down carry for Davis. Davis, huge head of steam. King having to track him down deep in the secondary. This was a quick hitting handoff, Matt, right off the left-hand side. Beautiful down blocks by your left tackle and left guard, Beno and Dowry. Partner Brent Robert. Our sideline reporter Jordan Dangle, producer Sean McCluskey, and our entire fine crew here in Huntington. Matt Martucci saying so long. Join us in two weeks. FIU in Western Kentucky in Bowling Green. This has been a presentation of BN Sports USA. 
Charlotte with the win that you build a program on.